I'm here with best-selling author Rick DeFore, and we're here to talk about his new book, In Praise of American Educators, and how they can become even better. So Rick, in your forward to In Praise, Bob Aker begins with the statement, Rick DeFore has written a troubling book, and rightly so. Why will some people find this book troubling? Well, I think for several reasons. Uh, first, I think they'll be troubled when we recognize the uh, implications of students who are unsuccessful in the K-12 system. If you're a high school dropout today, we now know with certainty that it's going to be very, very difficult, if not impossible, for you to earn a living wage. We know that society is going to end up paying almost $300,000 just to support your life. And we also know that your longevity is going to be severely uh, shortened. We now know that there's a 10 and a half year difference between a woman who's a high school dropout and a college graduate in terms of longevity. And it's over 13 years for men and the gap is growing. So I think that people will find that troubling. I think they'll also find it troubling that the way in which education has been depicted in the media has really no basis in fact. I think they'll be surprised to learn that the current generation of educators are getting the absolute best results we've ever received in terms of student achievement in our schools. But I also think they'll find it troubling that there is now clear evidence as to what are some of the best practices that educators can implement in terms of raising student achievement, but that in too many cases they've been reluctant to implement those practices or they've done it in a half-hearted way. Um, that really preserves their traditional culture and structure. So I think all of those reasons um, people will find to be troubling. 